I wanted to find out what people were eating in the 17th century and if that differed very much from what we eat today. Hello, Vicky. Nice to see you. Hello. Those look really good. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. I love the smell mm, can't wait for of a newly pulled carrot in the morning. I've come back to Hampton Court, where Vicky Cook and her team have recently restored one of the palace's period vegetable gardens. We have this idea that they ate meat and then hardly any vegetables at all. Ah, oh, right, yes. Well, vegetable eating started to be um, popularised in this, in this era, I think partly due to revolutions in the way that they grew things. Yeah. Uh, they had better knowledge of, um, of how to get, a, get good crops right. from the land. Yeah. Um, but also it was, I guess, partly um, a fashion thing. People were maybe more aware of the health benefits of, of eating more vegetables. Carrots were originally purple and white, uh, and then they had sort of, some were selected to be yellow. And then so when did orange carrots come in? Orange carrots came in in the 17th century um, and they were bred by the Dutch in about the 1650s. Um, some say it was as a patriotic gesture to the House of Orange. But these are the purple ones. That See, that's beautiful. That's absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? And have Find you got them. any white ones? We've got some white ones here, yep. Well, yeah, you see, that's fantastic. OK, there's carrots. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Yep. You've got rather an overgrown, what looks like, I don't know, radishes, are they? Yeah, we have some very overgrown radishes, but they've been left for a reason. Oh. <laughs> so these are radishes that have gone to seed, but they would have eaten the radish pods uh, as a delicacy. Well, the pod is quite tough. Let's be <laughs> honest, that isn't the nicest thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> what strikes me is the variety of produce that was being grown. In fact, it's a much wider range than most of us grow or eat now. Costumary would have been used to flavour ale. It has a very strong, distinctive flavour. And they use quite tanniny things for beer because it helps preserve it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's quite... <laughs> wow. Also listed as a salad ingredient, but ah. I think that would have been... <laughs> OK. Is there anything that they conspicuously didn't grow? In the 17th century, Things like potatoes and tomatoes and runner beans, they were very new. They would have been novelties. Right, and, and yet they're pretty much staples for us, aren't they? There aren't many gardens yes. that grow vegetables that don't grow a tomato that, or two, Exactly, or that's it, yes, but it would have been dangerously exotic and a bit, you know, people were a bit suspicious of these fruits, which are all in the family, the same family as deadly nightshade. That's interesting. Mm. Like your lettuce, they're looking really good. Yeah. Did they, they eat lettuce as salad as we do? They might have boiled it. But... <laughs> boil the lettuce? Probably. <laughs> they seem to boil quite a lot of things. 